Hi, this is Charlotte from Petomation. You probably know what these are. They're smartphones. And today's smartphones are also cameras. The pictures that you take with your phone become better and clearer with each new release. The pictures also become bigger. A single image on one of our own phones turned out to be an average of 2.85 megabytes, with a resolution of about 9 megapixels. A pixel can be described as a single dot on your screen. The size of your screen refers to the number of pixels it can display. It too has gone up in size over the years. Here is an example of a screen that has 1920 to 1200 pixels or 2.2 megapixels. But wait, if our screen can only display 2.2 megapixels and our image is 9 megapixels, how does that work? Well, when you load the picture from your phone or camera onto your computer and open it in a web browser, the web browser first downloads the entire file and then figures out its dimensions, and then automatically rescales it to fit your screen. Depending on which browser you use, you can even zoom in on the image and pan around in it to look at specific features. This works great for pictures taken with your phone and viewed on your own computer. But over a live internet connection, it's not that great though. Many websites today are too heavy and can take a long time to load because they contain too large images. Even as the web browser can resize them, they still need to be downloaded as a whole. Opening the debugger in your web browser will tell you why this page is loading slow. Well, it's a 4000 to 2666 pixel image that needs to be downloaded first before it can be resized to 680 to 453 pixels. Let's stick with a website example. When we store the new image, it takes up 0.4 megabytes of space. But since we host the original picture on our website, the browser still has to download the whole thing, which is 2.19 megabytes. This means that about 85% of our bandwidth is wasted and the site takes longer to load. When this is a commercial website on which I'm trying to sell my products, people could get bored of waiting and switch to a competitor whose website is faster. So the trick with the browser downloading and resizing works, but what happens as your images get bigger? What if your image was a high-resolution satellite image or a micrometer resolution observation of a piece of tissue under a microscope? These images are so much bigger than your original camera image and can be several gigabytes in size. We're not even talking about megapixels anymore. Your typical browser just can handle these. And also, think of your internet bill downloading all this data. The solution comes in the form of a tile server. At Petomation, our tile server is called PMA Core. A tile server overlays your original gigapixel image with a grid-like structure. This divides the original image in bite-sized pieces called tiles. A separate tile can be easily downloaded once again by the browser. The tile server can serve individual tiles to anyone who asks it. A tile server has a second trick up its sleeve. It breaks the original image up in a consecutive series of higher resolution images. At the lowest level of resolution, you're just looking at a thumbnail image. At the deepest or highest level, you have the original resolution back with a maximum number of tiles. So, you have a pyramid, you have a virtual grid, you have tiles and eventually pixels. But how do those all come together? You will need a piece of front-end software to efficiently interact with the tile server. At Patomation, we've developed PMAUI, a browser-based framework developed in JavaScript, so it works with any web browser. PMAUI runs on top of and interacts with the tile server PMA Core. 
PMAOI seamlessly translates user actions into tile requests. Okay, so what does that mean for me when I'm looking at slides? Well, PMA Core is one of the fastest tile servers on the market. We've measured that 80% of content is delivered under 0.2 seconds. 70% of content is even delivered under 0.1 seconds. PMA Core is the foundation for our comprehensive software platform that you can use to build your own digital pathology applications. We provide a range of end-user applications as well as plugins for existing environments. And last but not least, we provide you with SDKs and tutorials on how to do it all by yourself.